We have brought Republicans and Democrats together in a very historical moment. And what that moment is about is that the Senate this afternoon stated that we will not continue participation in the Saudi-led intervention in Yemen, which has resulted in the worst humanitarian crisis on Earth. And today, what the United States Senate said in a very loud way, that we will not continue to have our military posture dictated by a despotic, murderous regime in Saudi Arabia, a regime which does not respect democracy, does not respect human rights, a regime whose leader, nobody doubts, was involved in the horrific murder of a dissident journalist in the Saudi consulate in Turkey, Jamal Khashoggi. Both progressives and conservatives have made a profound statement that 45 years after the passage of the War Powers Act, 45 years later, finally, the United States Senate has come together to use that authority for the first time and say that the responsibility for war, the constitutional responsibility for war, rests with the United States Congress, not the president, whether that president is a Democrat or a Republican. 